Are you living the low pH lifestyle? I'm sure a lot of you have heard all about how low pH is so good for skincare, but what is pH and why does it matter? And why is it so good for your skin? Well, today I've put together a really quick and dirty guide all about low pH and what it means for your skincare. So if you guys are ready to learn all about that low pH life, give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So what is pH anyways? Well, pH is a way for us to test whether something is acidic or alkaline. It's a scale that ranges from 0, the more acidic side, to 14, which is the alkaline side. So do you remember in like seventh grade science where you would test lemon and milk with a piece of paper and that piece of paper would turn like light pink or red and depending on the color that that paper turned, that was its pH value. Do you remember doing that in school? Well, it's the same thing. That's how you test where something sits on the pH scale. Now, right smack dab in the middle is the number seven and this is considered neutral. It's neither alkaline nor is it acidic. Now, with skin, you would think that skin would be neutral. It's neither acidic nor alkaline, right? Well, that's actually wrong. Human skin is slightly acidic, coming in at 5.5 on the acidic side of the scale. So why does this matter in skincare? Well, most cleansers on the market rate around a 6, 7, 8, or even 9 on the pH scale, which means they're pretty far from the 5.5 that human skin ranges at on the pH scale, and they're very alkaline. You know that feeling when you wash your face sometimes and it feels squeaky clean? You can almost even hear the squeak when you rub your cheeks. Well, even though this is a very deeply satisfying feeling, like you're really cleaning your skin, this is actually a sign that your cleanser is far too alkaline and it's actually not good for your skin at all. So alkaline cleansers can irritate the skin. They can strip your skin of oil, which is going to cause you to produce actually more oil on your skin, and it can disrupt your moisture barrier. Here's another thing that's really interesting about alkaline cleansers. They change the environment of your skin. When you raise the pH of your skin from its natural level, you are kind of inviting a lot of other things into your skin that wouldn't normally flourish there. Take the acne bacteria for instance. The acne bacteria is shown to flourish at high alkaline levels. It loves to live at a higher pH. Now, when your skin is slightly acidic, the acne bacteria doesn't flourish as well. It doesn't favor acidic environments. So naturally, our skin is more resistant to the acne bacteria at its natural pH level. However, when we use an alkaline cleanser and we raise the pH of our skin, we are basically inviting the ac acne bacteria to come into our skin and set up shop and you know, stick around for a while and bring the kids too. So it's really important for us to understand that we need to maintain our natural pH level in order to maintain the healthiest skin possible. So the best way for us to preserve our natural pH is to use a low pH cleanser that's not going to raise the pH of our skin into an alkaline level. So there's three that I absolutely love and go back to time and time again. The first one is the CasaRx Good Morning Low pH Cleanser. Now this cleanser contains a bit of tea tree oil, so it's great for those of you suffering from acne. I also love Tusa Wong Enzyme Powder Wash. Now this is a really great gentle wash for those who have very dry or dehydrated skin. And the third one that I really love is the Neogene Green Tea Cleansing Stick, which is actually good for all types of skin. Now there's a lot more low pH cleansers on the market and I'm going to list a bunch more of them in the info box below. Now there's a couple of other ways that pH can factor into your skincare routine. And one of the main ways is through chemical exfoliation. So that's going to be your AHAs and your BHAs. And they're called acids for a reason because they're more acidic. And acids work better in an acidic environment. Just like your skin is slightly acidic, you want to have an acidic environment for acids to work properly. Properly. Now certainly the very first step is to use your low pH cleanser to preserve that 5.5 pH level
level on your skin. You can also consider using a pH adjusting toner on your skin prior to using your chemical exfoliation product. So this is a really great way for you to lower the pH of your skin. Just make sure that it is at that low level because when your skin is at that acidic level, your chemical exfoliation, your AHAs and BHAs are going to work much more effectively. My absolute favorite is the Mizan Daily Clean AHA BHA Toner. There's a couple of other ones. I'm going to lift those in the info box below for you guys, but this is a really great additional step to take to ensure that your chemical exfoliation is working for you. Something else to consider when we're talking about low pH is we want to consider the order of our skincare products in our routine. We want to maintain that acidic environment on our skin as long as possible, especially when we're using chemical exfoliation. So the order of your products should really be low pH cleanser, then you want to use your pH adjusting toner if you choose to use it, then you want to use your chemical exfoliation, your acids, your AHAs, your BHAs, then you can continue on with your essences, serums, and creams. You do not want to put an essence on before chemical exfoliation um, because it's going to start to mess around with the pH of your skin again and it's going to render your chemical exfoliation a lot less effective. So you want to think about the order of your skincare routine and how we can really let those acidic products work more effectively on our skin without disrupting the pH level. So I hope you guys enjoyed that low pH guide and found it really easy to understand and useful. Once I started to incorporate low pH into my routine, my skin changed for the better and my acne improved so much. Now I've got a couple of other skincare guides planned for you guys, but if there's any topic you'd like me to dive into deeper, please let me know in the comment box below and I will definitely make that video for you guys. All right, I hope you're having a beautiful week and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye.